Hey there! There's an example of how this device ESP is used to make a white cone LAN without to be on the LAN. This is very effective because you may be outside your home or your work or any place where you want to just power on your computer. I'm going to be on the local area network. So just using my mobile device data. And uh, here is a dashboard where I have a MQT server from IO Adderfruit. Just to know, I'm going to reset here the ESP. So now the ESP is connecting to the Wi-Fi of my house. And it's going to subscribe to this MQTT broker. No matter if I am on the local area network or not, because the MQTT broker is on a server. So here, as you know, I don't have my Wi-Fi. Just keep a second because this takes some a while in between connecting. So let's do this. You can see here in the screen that uh, all the bias is starting without any problem. Just wait a little bit. And here is it. Hi there. So there is another way to do this. Uh, here is a web plug that you can access and you can buy on Amazon or any other website. Uh, here is just plugged my ESP8266. So if I just wanted to uh, power on my computer, so you go to Smart Life and you, he ha um, you here have your plug. So just press power on. And here, uh, the device of ESP8266 is sending a signal. Here, the signal is sent, and my computer is just uh, pouring. And we may notice that I'm not in my in my local area network. I'm outside of here. I have mobile data turn, uh, here. Uh, here displayed. As we can see, after cloning the repository here in. The Project WOL, we may have some source folders like WOL only and MQTT and WOL. Here we may uh, notice that we have a, a Docker script just to mount it. Here we have the USB privileges. Uh, they are useful to flash and monitor, uh, actually, uh, debugging the, the microcontroller when we have our source code downloaded into the flash. Uh, I have here my Docker image. Just uh, I pull it a little bit. Well, I just created uh, 22 ESP8266 ADF. Just do that. You have the Docker image, and you're ready for work. Go to mount, mount Docker. Here is the image. We are almost done. Uh, let's first try the WA only. the Wi-Fi, the password just make make many config. Go to example connection configuration, and you have your Wi-Fi CC and your password. Uh, type enter, make set up your credentials, and that's all. Uh, it may uh, vary. Uh, it could be different for each uh, system, but you can set uh, that TYUZ. Uh, maybe on WCL is TTYS. Zero. Uh, okay, I didn't save anything because I almost got configured. Uh, to compile the code, ah, yeah, after compiling the code, uh, go to this folder, uh, the main folder, and just some stuff on the on the client.c. Here you may have make address, so change this. Six bytes, and that's all. Change it, save this file, go to main folder, make call, flash for flashing the device, and monitor for debugging with uh, login, login info. So here is compiling. 
we'll just be, wait a little bit. Okay. Flashing the device. First, it's connecting to my Wi Fi net. Handshaking. And the packet was sent successfully. So, here the Wake Up Land Magic Pack go to the MQTT WOL. Same stuff. Make menu config. Credentials here. Uh, go to CD main. Here you may have some configuration extra files. So uh, here is mqtt.h. Oh, sorry. So for example, here is my broker. I actually am using it for IO, but this is one. Uh, this is my nickname. This is one uh, key that is out to generate. I can change it any, any time I want. Here is my board. That actually is called my first MQTT. You could select your dashboards, create a new one. Uh, here is my topics. I have the topics, but uh, I only need this one sprinkler. I just have off on. And the port even is uh, 88, 8883. Uh, and if I want to modify my MAC address, go to WLH, and you, har uh, you have here the MAC address configuration you want to find. Uh, go back to the uh, the main folder of MQTT, well, actually the source folder, and make all flash, actually. Make all flash mode. Hold on a sec. And same stuff, connected to Wi-Fi net, and checking. Uh, here we may see some important messages. It is connecting to the subscribing and subscribing to the, the sprinkler and it publishes humidity to 50. Uh, nothing special. If I change this one, we could see here the, the it's, as it's as it is subscribed, we could see the difference here. Uh, well on. When it is on, create a socket from the Wacom LAN and then send the magic packet. Off is... that's nothing, it's just off. Yeah, and this is the important thing here. Uh, just is creating the socket and pack it successfully, so I can do it remotely. And... That is all. Uh, thank you very much for, for seeing. I hope uh, the wiki and all the documents may help you to understand a little bit better this project. Please uh, try to make some comment, subscribe, and uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope you this, this will be useful for you.